guys, this is Harmon Hart, and uh, I want to do a little demonstration with you uh, and, and show you a little something about fuel line and ethanol fuels. Um, as you know, I picked up my RANS S14 about a week ago, and I've been doing some tinkering with it. And I kept getting this smell of fuel. It was just a faint smell of fuel, but I don't like the smell of gasoline, especially in an airplane. So I was doing some investigating, and um, I found that uh, the smell seemed to be coming from around the fuel filter. And it was a plastic fuel filter, so I decided to change it. And the fuel line was so hard to get off the fuel filter that when I pulled on it, the fuel line actually tore in half. And that made me suspicious of the condition of the fuel line. And so when I did finally get it off, I cut it open and I was kind of horrified to find that it has really deteriorated inside. Um, the problem is that once it gets that way, when you go to pull a fuel line off, or manhandle that fuel hose in any way, it causes the inner liner to stretch and that cracks it. Uh, also, when you slip it on and off the barbed fittings on fuel uh, filters or on fuel connections, the action of stretching that hose over that barb is enough to crack this and then even if you put a clamp on it after that, it still leaches fuel. Uh, because now it has a little crack in the hose to follow instead of a nice smooth inner lining. And so I've cut some fuel line open to give you a demonstration. One of them is a brand new fuel hose and the other one is what came off my plane. So take a look at this and see for yourself, okay? This is the old fuel line that, uh, and you can see where it, uh, where it ripped. It just tore in half when I went to pull it off the barb on the fuel filter and that's kind of what it looked like on the inside so you can see that it's 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 rotten and when you grab that fuel line and you pull on it and you stretch it lengthways it creates those cracks and you never even know it because they're inside the fuel line and uh, they're just uh, it's actually I think causing a mechanical damage to the inner liner that you can't even see. This is a brand new piece of fuel line and you can see that inside it's all nice and smooth rubber. So this is, uh, th that's the difference. But you can see that ethanol has really uh, ruined the elastic properties of this fuel line. And uh, I'm not sure, this fuel line was put on in 2009 and uh, it, I think it's a Gates fuel line, but I'm not sure if it's fuel injection line or not. It doesn't appear to have any kind of uh, vapor line or anything in it like the modern fuel hoses. So I think this is just uh, a, uh, an old school fuel hose and uh, it's gonna get replaced on my airplane. But I just thought I'd share that with you and uh, you can check your own fuel line and, uh, and see for yourself. And Remember, when you grab that fuel hose and pull on it, what you're doing to the inside of that fuel line. Be safe.